welcome to the project demonstration of speed bump and human detection along with uh, location sms alerting and also we are going to store the particular location values in firebase real time database so the location values nothing but wherever the speed bump is detected that will be identified by our uh, pi camera which was interfaced to the raspberry pi 3 and based on the image processing in opencv in python language we are going to identify the uh, different kind of uh, like objects so one is lane detection and from by detecting the lane and uh, we are going to controlling the robot in uh, forward left right three directions and as well as whenever the speed bump is identified from this image processing then automatically the robot will stop and it will send the message alert to the predefined store number along with the location values to the firebase real time database and the next is detection of a human being Whenever the human being present in front of this camera, automatically the robot stops for some time and after that it will check the next input of the human presence. So if it is the existing human presence, then automatically it will keep on stop mode only and whenever the human present is not there and it will go to the forward or remaining uh, lane following mode only. So coming to this connections, the so called status of the particular operation will be displayed on our 16 by 2 LCD display and we are going to controlling the robot with help of L293D motor driver. So L293D is a motor driver, this one can control two DC motors in bi-direction. So nothing but whenever we want to control the robot in forward mode, so then these two DC motors will rotate in forward direction and the left side, so this will rotate in backwards and this will rotate in the forward. So that's why we are making use of a L293D motor driver to control a single motor in bi-directional. So once L293D motor driver can control the two DC motors. And as well as we interface the GSM modem along with the GPS. So from this we are going to send the message alerts to the predefined store number. And the GPS got the location values and this is the on a switch. And this is a rechargeable battery of 12 volt 1 amp. And uh, from this uh, power bank we are going to provide the 5 volts power supply to the Raspberry Pi. And just we need to connect the battery this here. We need to connect the battery to charge the right to keep the charging in battery so that's it keep it for 8 hours then only the battery will get fully charged so in order to get the real time data of uh, location values we should demonstrate this in sky view so let us see the demonstration for the lane following so just give the power supply of the power bank and then wait for the system has to be booted so before switching on this cage uh, we need to enable the like uh, switch on the uh, please uh, insert the valid sim card into the gsm modem and enable the hotspot of your phone with name of project pro ject all a small letter and password 129 so after booting was successfully done then there will be a, a welcome message on the lcd screen and the robot will start keep on moving right okay so this is a main switch for the robot. So before this crown. So right. So you can see that. Right. So when the bump is detected, automatically it stops and sending the message and we will receive the message. So let us see the messages. So there's the messages we are going to receive as we are demonstrating this project in indoor. That's why we are receiving the we got the one more message. We are receiving zero zero values. If we demonstrate in sky view, then automatically we will get the uh, real time location values. So its bump detection is done and uh, now so it is lane following and whenever the left is detected so the left sign is right so left sign is detected in this manner so human detected then automatically it stops and it will moving and whenever the human is not detected again okay.
approach and so coming to the firebase and just log into the gmail with your uh, credentials and now just search in google with firebase and open the firebase so already we have logged in into our account so then automatically there will be a your name and go to console and in that go to our project and in that real time database right so here we can get our parameters right so these are the uploaded data till now so when we click on that then we can get the latitude longitude values at which time we got the speed bump detection has happened right